Hey YouTubers, this is Treve Willis coming to you July 5th, 2022. I am so excited to be here today. Um, you know, it's a wonderful day out here and I'm so happy to be back on a video to record something to God, to help you guys out. I am so excited, I'm so thankful, appreciative and humbled about all the responses that I get uh, from you guys and all the uh, love that you guys give to me, all the positive feedback, the wisdom. Um, I really, I am really thankful and I am really moved off of that. This is actually what keeps me going is the positive feedback that you guys give to me. Um, and I'm only giving you the feedback based off of the fact um, of the uh, success that I've had in the years to, that I've had been doing this. And, you know, I really take to heart um, that you guys are interested in doing this uh, transportation business. And that's why... You know, I take it upon myself to try to feed you guys correctly and give you advice to where it can help you to be successful. A lot of people can say that they care about you and a lot of people can say that I'm here for you. But at the end of the day, a lot of people don't want to share the knowledge and give you the wisdom that it's going to take to become successful. A lot of people don't want to give you the knowledge and the wisdom because they don't want to see you a step ahead of them. Um, but that's not the case with me. I want everybody to succeed. I want everybody um, to do well because everybody deserves a chance at life and everybody deserves a chance to embark on greatness. Um, the thing that popped in my head about what I want to talk to you guys about, it popped in my head last night, um, is... There is many levels of transportation in the non-emergency medical transportation, but there's one thing I have never spoke on. And the one thing that I have never spoke on was student transportation. What is student transportation? Student transportation is basically when you transport disabled individuals from home to school on a daily basis. You have a morning route, you have an afternoon route. Trey, is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it if you have your business affairs in the correct order. Okay, what do you mean business affairs? Okay, if the contract is structured in a way that it's gonna benefit you, then I would say go for it. But you have to be very careful when it comes down to doing student transportation and if it's not structured the right way. Okay, so let me enlighten you on something. Whenever you do student transportation, student transportation consists of minivans, um, it consists of shuttle buses, wheelchair vans, you know, it depends on whatever the school system allows you to drive or whatever, you know, is in your contract. So with that being said, in Wake County, where I'm from, Raleigh, North Carolina, we use minivans for students that especially need. And we also use like um, the school buses, but they're like smaller school buses, like shuttle buses type deal. Um, that's what the school system allows you to use. Now, on a give and take in the mornings, you could have about five or six different kids on per vehicle, five or six kids in the afternoon. Back in the day, when I first moved to Raleigh, there were about nine different companies in Wake County serving the school system, the population, the school, um, the uh, special need population. And they were very prosperous. Um, there was a lot of money being made in it, um, you know, and the services was getting, you know, done. But the only thing I say when it comes down to doing that is watch out, be careful, because a lot of times you, um, some school systems may not want to pay you as much. Um, back when, you know, back in the day, 2010, there were companies that was getting paid like $25, $30 a child. And they would have six children on board in the, in the morning per vehicle. They made ahead about 30 vans on the road. And so, you know, relatively, it was decent money. You know, I'm not going to say it was a lot of money considering the fact you got, you know, your expenses that you have to take out, your drivers and everything like that. But a lot of this, the transportation companies around here make good money. Have anybody ever approached me about doing this? Yes, there was a lot of um, there was a lot of companies that had approached me, um, excuse me, not companies. There was a school system that approached me um, some years ago about doing it. But to be honest with you, um, I, I just wasn't uh, interested in doing it because of the fact the money part, you know, wasn't right. You know, they, uh, from what I was told and from what I know of was the fact that the school system was cutting, you know, the, uh, the rates per child down to like $15 a child. And a lot of companies was complaining that it wasn't worth it. 
Now, another thing you have to look out for is, remember I was speaking about in previous uh, videos about brokers. Brokers, some brokers are good, some brokers can be all about themselves. However, there are brokers out there that serves the school transportation population in certain regions. And there are some out there, now note this, remember I said the school system will pay you per child, but there was a contract offered to me about two years ago. And what they wanted me to do was they wanted me to serve, uh, to put vans on the road in the area to do school transportation for special needs using minivans, cars, whatever you name it, you claim it. Um, the problem with that was when it came down to doing rates and proposing rates, they were only trying to propose me $60, excuse me, yes, yeah, $60 per run. Now, check this out. That's $60 in the morning and $60 in the afternoon per vehicle. That's not a lot of money. And the, the problem that I had with them that I decided not to do it was simply the fact of they said that you could pick up one child and get $60 or you could pick up six children on your route and still get $60. That's not how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to work where you're getting paid per child. So if you ever get a uh, proposition from a school system or a broker stating that we are proposing you a contract and we're only going to pay you $60 or are they only going to pay you one flat rate no matter how many children you pick up run from it don't do it and I'm simply saying that because they are getting over they are getting over you should be getting a, a rate per child $25 a day $30 a day you know and wheelchair clients uh, wheelchair transportation for students should be a little bit more than that so you shouldn't be taking on one flat rate. Another thing that I want to recommend, if you guys decide that you guys want to get into the school transportation, I recommend, now this is what I decided to do, whenever we was going to do, before they proposed the rates to us, we was going to separate RDU medical transportation into RDU student transportation. And the reason why, you're probably wondering, why would you do that? The reason why I say that because we have a good rating in the county that we live in for medical transportation. Take a people to the doctor and we all know that when it comes down to ratings and people rating you, it's big. It's, it's really a big deal because you don't want someone bad mouthing your company or saying all derogatory stuff on, you know, Google, Yelp or whatever the case may be. However, you have to understand your chances of getting a bad rating is a lot higher if you take on the student transportation side of it. I'm just being real with you. Some may agree, but we can all agree to disagree. You may, you, your chances of getting a bad rating is higher because when it comes down to transporting students, parents are angry all the time. And what happens is you could be late picking up little Johnny and guess what? They're going on your, they're calling your office, they're blowing your phone up. They're going on inside your Yelp or they're going on your Google. They're bad mouthing you. And then that's putting negative outlook and um, image on your main business. That's your medical transportation side. And that that's what you don't really don't want. You want to try to keep a clean reputation and not saying you would get any bad reputations, a bad reputation with the, uh, the student transportation side. But from what I know, a lot of companies out there, they always you never can please a parent. And a parent is always going to complain about if little Johnny was picked up three, four minutes late from school for school. Or, you know, for instance, if a van is on the road on, you know, the interstate and they think that they're driving too fast or whatever the case may be. Oh, we're going to complain. We're going to complain. We're going to complain. So you just have to um, you just have to be weary and you have to be conscious about that because. Me, I take it very serious about ratings um, because, you know, you can't make everybody happy. And that's the thing about it. You're always going to try to please everybody, but you just can't make everybody happy. But when it comes down to students and kids and, you know, you can be driving and there's an accident on the road. Parents going to get upset. You know, little Johnny left his lunchbox in the van and then somebody's going to get upset. 
So I'm just saying, be careful. This is just with love because um, it's crazy out here. And you know, you work so hard to build your image up and your business. And it just takes one little thing for one person to go on Google and be like, hey, you know, it's, oh my God, they're picking up kids late or reckless driving vehicles. It's just not, it just gotta be very careful. So that's why at the time when we was gonna do it, we separated the name RDU Medical Transportation to RDU Student Transportation. But that's the only thing I wanna share with you guys. I hope these videos are helping you. If you, if you, um, you like what you see, subscribe to it. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I'm coming to you guys soon with another video, um, you know, hopefully in the next day or two. But if you guys need anything, reach out. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Much love. This is the, the mentor, uh, Trey Willis, Trevay Willis, speaking live from Raleigh, North Carolina. I hope you have a fantastic day and take care. Be blessed.